Hey boys, here we go. Um, it's crap tape day today. Um, this has been floating around eBay. Well, they started floating around eBay. Um, and I have no idea what they are. Uh, you know, they really don't look the best. I mean, um, don't get me wrong. It feels pretty solid. Like, the case feels pretty solid. But, uh, you know, the... The J card and general presentation don't do it any damage. CLT, I have no idea what that is. Uh, I mean, we don't have the telltale sign of uh, you know compact cassettes, low noise stuff like that. You know, it's pretty simple, which um, gives me a bit of hope because you know it might just be a gem. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be Type Zero or actually usable. Uh, right. Let's open it up. Doesn't even want to open. A high quality wrap. All right. Ugh. Honestly, I was uh, I was wrong about the case. It's uh, it's pretty trashy. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have inside. Okay, very basic J card. Nothing special here. Case, as I said, not not great, not great really. Uh, I've seen worse, but this is definitely not great. Okay, let's look at the tape. Okay, so it's a welded shell. Hmm, fairly solid welded shell, surprising. It doesn't look great though. Okay, plastic window. So it's not just a sleep sheet here. Uh, really basic looking. Okay. Let's try and focus on the tape. Mm. Pad looks okay. Okay, let's take a look at the tape itself. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, just a very deep brown tape. Nothing special. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's not necessarily very bumpy. Uh, it's not as shiny as a D or something like that, you know. Okay, uh, not not too bad. The tape pack isn't the greatest, as you can see. <laughs> but then again, from like what this looks like, it might be an actual surprise. It does, it's not as flimsy as I would have thought. All right. I wanted to open it, but it's uh, it's welded, so we're not doing that. Okay, time to take it to the deck and see what we can get out of it. Okay, here we go. We're using the BX808 today, trying to give it uh, the best chance possible. Uh, we'll see what it does. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's tighten. The tape before use, right? That's, isn't that what they said for me? Like, yeah, please tension tape before use to ensure maximum efficiency. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, uh, let's calibrate it, although I I'm not the biggest fan of uh, using these calibration methods, like, honestly. I'm probably just gonna try and do it by ear. Now let's see what we get. Let's see how. Oh, level is nice. A bias needs a, a bit less bias. There we go. Level is still nice and steady. Ah, that's that's good enough. It's not the most stable tape. Oof, that's a lot of hiss. Okay, uh, this is what you're playing with today. 
Okay, let's give it. Uh, let's give it a shot. Honestly, so far, pretty good. Let's push it. this was going to be total trash I was mistaken uh, this is actually surprisingly good for what it is um, like for basic ferric you can push it up to well I, I honestly I wouldn't go as far as a plus six but plus four it takes Dolby pretty well like um, I know these are actually really good. Uh, yeah, what more can I say about it? Okay, so moral of the story here is don't don't judge a tape by the cover. I guess um, I I expected this to be uh, type zero, honestly, uh, just the way it looked, uh, and I never heard of this. There's no. There, there's really no indication anywhere of who made this, uh, what it's packed with, like I don't know what tape is in it, this shell is really really basic, there's nothing about it that might say that it's going to be good, but for a uh, for basic ferric it's really 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 good. Um, yeah, I, w I would have no problem, like other than the, the high noise floor, which honestly 
is to be expected from something like this. Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good.